Hi guys and welcome, this video is on the Essentials config. Lots of people have been asking how to download the Essentials and also how to configure it. So, I'll quickly show you this. This is the Essentials download, it will be in the link below. So you start off by clicking download and then download again. Save it into your plugins folder. So as you can see this is my server folder. Just go into plugins and then save. Then go into your documents and find this. Go into plugins and then just extract the file once it's extracted you can delete the zip file that's no use anymore so you can see I've got all these essentials files so I'll just quickly start up the server once it's all loaded just close it down so I just type in stop to stop mine wait for it all to shut down then close it go into plugins essentials and then you'll see a file called config I open mine with Notepad++, I'll leave a link to this as well in the description. And this is the config for Essentials, it's all set out in sections, so we'll just go through it from the top to the bottom. The first one you come to is the op colour, so this is when an op talks, their name's displayed in this colour. The default is red, so you can obviously change this. The next one's the nickname prefix. If you talk and you've got a nickname, this will come up before it. You could obviously just set that to blank, so if you set a nickname, nothing comes up. Then obviously whether it conflicts with other name plugins or not, you can just set this to true and false. So I'll just go through the main ones. Teleport cooldown, if you want a cooldown for home and teleport and stuff, so I'll just change this to 30 seconds. So if people do slash home and they're not on off, it will take 30 seconds. Same with the teleport delay, I've set it to 2 seconds. This is like, if you take damage after teleporting, I've set that to 4 seconds. Heal cooldown for slash heal. And then you've got loads of other things. This is the item spawn blacklist. So if you don't want players to be able to spawn certain blocks, just put it in here and they won't be able to spawn it. So 46, 11 and 10. I don't know what these blocks are off the top of my head. I'm assuming it's lava, water and TNT or something like that. So you just go for it. Spawn mob limit. This is only for ops really, but defines how many they can spawn in one go so you can obviously change this I advise 10 because I would create serious lag on the server and you just keep going down the config so overridden commands disable commands so you can disable nickname and stuff like that and these are all the social commands for things like the mail and stuff to other players there's nothing really to configure here it's just a list of all the commands and then you've got a list of all your player commands. You need to put these into your permissions plugin if you want them to be able to use these commands. So all the sign uses and stuff like that. So you don't need to configure anything here either. Then you've got the kits. So players can do slash kit and then the name. And that will give them the items. As you can see it's all configured here. I don't actually want this on my server so I'll just disable it all. What I do is go through it and just put hashes and that will just disable it all. So I'll start off by disabling the top one. As you can see, you can set the items that players get and also the delay between being able to use it. So by putting hash in front of it, it just disables the use of this kit. And then if you remove it later on, you can just enable it again. Then you've got the signs. This is one I get lots of questions about. So just remove the hashes to enable the signs. Simple as that. So now you can see I've taken all these off. So now when I save it and restart my server, I'll be able to create all these signs. But if I want to disable one, I just put a hash in front of it again. So I don't want game mode signs, so I just put a hash in front of it. So players can't create game mode signs. So then you've got how many uses a sign can have a second. So I've set it to four, so it doesn't lag so much. How often the server backup. So it's set to 30 minutes as default. You've got loads of other little bits. So I'll just scroll down to another important one. Auto AFK is a good one. This is remove God on disconnect. So if you disconnect, you'll just put back into normal mode and not God mode. Auto AFK is set to 300. I leave that as default. You can also kick players when they go AFK for too long. So I can just set this to 500. The default is that it won't kick players when they go AFK. Then you've also got freeze players if they go AFK. Disable item pickup, so you can set that to true, so if a player is AFK and you chuck stuff at them, they won't actually pick any of it up. 
So there's lots of different things you can configure for AFK here. You've got your death messages and things like that. I don't tend to configure these ones because they tend to be what I'm looking for anyway. But it's here if you do want to change it. So you can see God Mode is disabled in the nether. Default stack size can also be changed here. I just leave it as default because I think the stack sizes are fine. So then we'll quickly scroll down a little further. You can see login attack delay, whether you're attacked when you log in. Fly speed, everything like that. Temp ban. So you can obviously change this if you want the default temp ban to be a certain amount of time. As I say, I don't really mess with these too much because I don't tend to use them. So update time at bedtime. So then the next one's the set multiple homes. So you set how many you want to be able to do. So the defaults three, VIP five, staff ten. Accept teleportation cancel. So this is how long it will be able to teleport to. So the defaults one hundred and twenty seconds. So that means that you can accept a teleport up to one hundred and twenty seconds. The starting balance, I'll set this to 50, so every player that logs into the server will get a starting balance of 50. Command cost, so you can set a cost for a command. So I'll just do, I don't know, slash home. So doing slash home will cost you, um, what do we want to set it as? I don't know. We said it was 100 just as the example. Obviously, you wouldn't charge this much, it's extortionate. But also, you can change the currency symbol. So, change it from dollars to pounds. The max money, just leave that as default. The minimum money is what I always change. I don't like people being able to buy stuff with money they don't have. So, I set that to zero. So, then they can't loan money. Ops can still loan money though, but obviously, ops are players you trust anyway. So, doesn't really matter. Then you've got all your protect ones, prevent. So this will prevent all these things. So if I set this to true, lava flow will no longer happen. It will just prevent lava flow. So there's loads of different things you can change in here. Creeper explosions and stuff like that. I tend to leave these because I like the overall experience of a survival server. So I do actually leave these. The only thing I do change is the spawn. I take off the ender dragon because I don't want that to spawn because everyone seems to spawn it and then you can't get rid of it. So I just set that to true so you can't spawn ender dragons anymore. And you've got the max height of a creeper explosion, I'll leave that as default. Protect signs, you can set this to true and it will protect all signs so people won't be able to destroy them. So then they won't go up in flames and things like that, they'll be protected. Disable full damage, disable PvP. There's loads of different things you can configure here. As I say, I leave these ones as default as well. And then the next section after this is the build section. So as you can see, it just basically sets whether you can build and use and stuff when you're a default. So I just leave these all as true. And just leave it and change them if you want, but there's not a lot of point. Then you've got alert on placement. So it'll alert you whether lava, still lava, TNT have been placed. And then blacklist of blocks that are prevented from placing. Then you've got the spawn for new players. So when a new player joins, it'll announce their name. They'll spawn at newbies. The kit will be given is tools. Obviously, I've disabled this, so I'll just put a hash next to it or delete it. Because I don't want players to get anything when they spawn because it's a survival server. So I'll just put a hash in front of it so now they don't get anything. So then you go down. Respawn at home, this is false, so if people die they'll respawn at the spawn of the server. Obviously if you set it to home, they'll spawn at the home. So that's the end of the config file. All you have to do now is save it, restart your server. And I'll quickly just log in just to show you a couple of the changes. So I just log into my local host. And then just do a few of the simple things, quickly opt myself just to show you. Otherwise, the plugin nodes and stuff aren't set up properly, so opt myself. So I'll quickly show you that kits aren't working, that home works, but it won't charge me because I'm op, and then also balance. There'll be a download link to this in the description below, and as always, guys, please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Cheers.